I think most of us have been there. You spend ages editing a video only to find that after you've rendered it, there's no sound. There's nothing worse when you've got a half an hour video and you've got to do it all over again. I've tried everywhere looking online at different YouTube videos, people giving advice and going up here into sound settings. And it's so confusing. I found that you need to do three things, just three things, and you'll get the sound every time after you've rendered it. So here's an example. I've got a short little video here and it's ready to, to be rendered. So as you know, you go to the bottom, go to the rocket, the deliver tab, uh, and this is the screen that you'll see. Now have a quick check that that box is ticked for export video. I've seen it a couple of times where it's not. It normally always is. So export video. By default, the custom one is selected. Obviously, there's different things here. YouTube, v it doesn't matter. Just keep it on custom. YouTube, I've used it that way, and it works absolutely fine when uploading. The format, I like QuickTime. It seems to render quicker and I don't have any problems uploading it to YouTube. So just leave all of that as it is, as you see it when you click on the deliver button. Audio, this is where you need to put your three changes in. You need to make sure that, you see how it's got linear PCM and bus stereo one? By default, it does that. Change that, change it to AAC codec and make sure that the bus stereo is all timeline tracks. Now I haven't got many, there's not many layers on this. Obviously, you, you mute it as you're editing it on the layers that you don't want, but just make sure all timeline tracks is selected. And if you do those three things, make sure the export audio button's ticked, make sure that the AAC button is, is selected on the codec, and make sure that the all timeline tracks are um, selected on the drop down, and you'll get it, you'll get the sound after you've rendered it. I've done a little quick screen grab of, of those settings there. There's your export audio button. Make sure that that's ticked. Codec is AAC or timeline tracks. So um, now all you've got to do is add Q, add to render queue. Goes over here. Oh, got to give it a name. So let's call it render sound. There it is there, ready to render. And I'm going to press render all and away she goes. I really appreciate the subscribes. Let me know if this helps you. It'd be lovely to know it did. Thanks very much for watching. Next time.